Every day, millions of people around the world wake up and are instantly glued to their phones. Electronics have become a normalcy in today's society and in the ways we live our daily lives. From smart cars, to security systems, to what kids play and learn with, electronics use has grown into a part of our daily reality and routine. With this information, we decided to conduct some surveys. One of the questions was, do your eyes hurt after looking at your screen for as long as you do? 77% of people said yes, their eyes do hurt. When asked, on a scale of 1 through 10, how alone do you feel? Our survey takers, 45% of them felt a 7 to 8 on the alone scale. Then when asked, how often are you on electronics a day? 47% of people said 3 to 5 hours of being on electronics daily. When asked, do you rely on electronics, 34% of survey takers said yes, they do. Then when asked, if you could go without your phone for a whole day, 49% of people said no. And then when asked, how are you, given the choices of either sad or happy, 62% completely openly said to further conduct our research in what electronics do in our daily lives, we decided to partake in a four-day trial of which consisted of a normal day, a day where we can only use electronics for form of communication, a day where we could not use any electronics for 24 hours, and a day where we could only use electronics for school purposes. So, let's go see what those did. For the first trial, I had to use no electronics all day, and although I felt like better off in the long run, like I was easier to like, it was easier to fall asleep and stuff like that, I also felt discluded like the entire day, because at school, you're basically just using electronics like all the time. For this trial, I couldn't use my phone at all. I was kind of really upset about it, and um, I was like really worried, and I felt so left out, and like excluded from everything. Technology whatsoever, I felt very isolated, but very relieved at the same time. Could not go on any electronics for 24 hours straight. And it was not that hard. It was only hard when I had to like call some, like I had to like use electronics because I had to call someone and see if they could pick me up. And I just realized that we use a lot of technology and a lot of today's things in like how we live our daily lives. Since the early 90s, when touchscreen phones were invented, the use of electronics has grown more with each generation and has become a necessity to most living in this world. All right, so today was my normal trial. I was on my phone for a total of five hours, 25 minutes. Oh, uh, just going about your day normally. I just, it kind of just felt like a regular day. I just listened to my music. I just like talked to people at school and in the hallways, got my work done, went to actual work after school. Today was a normal day. I didn't have to like do anything different and just be on my phone normally how I normally am. And it was good. For today's trial, it was normal. And so I just went about my day normally and it was good. Um, nothing different. Due to an increase in electronics, generations who grew slash grow up with electronics have a harder time with face-to-face -face communication skills. Being on technology a lot can cause one to feel alone and isolated from the real world. Trial 3. Today I only use technology for school related purposes. And although it did feel very out of the ordinary for me to not be able to like listen to my music or text my friends, it did feel very relieving to get away from the pressure of like having to answer people or like go on social media. And I just really enjoyed living in the moment throughout the day. For today's trial, I had to go the entire day just using technology for school purposes, which was hard because I wanted to like check my phone constantly. Also, today we didn't really use technology a lot, so I was basically just off of it for the entire day. Today's trial was using electronics for school only, and it wasn't actually really hard at all. It was like a normal day because I don't really use electronics in school, unless they are for school normally. So it wasn't that big of a difference to me. People and students have become addicted to the world online and are afraid to be away from it for too long. And it really shows. Using technology only. It felt really strange to only talk through like a text-to-speech app. I guess we never fully realized that we use a lot of face-to-face -face communication as well as using technology. Alright, so today's trial, I could only use electronics for any form of communication, and I felt like really left out, and I did end up failing, and I just kind of gave up and started talking to people. 
today's trial was I could only use electronics for the form of communication and it was so hard and I felt so left out from everything like it was so sad when like I wouldn't be able to talk to anyone I love to talk so like it was it was so sad And studies have shown that just a buzz, just a pain, is enough to take all of your energy and concentration for wanting to find out what that thing is. And your fear of missing that thing right at that moment obliterates your ability to understand pre-calc or algebra or science or whatever class you happen to be in. Overall, whether we like it or not, technology is a necessity in our daily lives today. For school, for work, for communicating with people outside of our daily lives, escaping reality, and seeing a different side of the world we live in today. However, electronics are not everything, and there needs to be a balance between the online and real world. A good balance with nature and using electronics wisely. A good balance that allows you to go to bed watching a TikTok. How do electronics affect your life?